A lot of people say, okay, I'm just going to turn my life to Christ. Mine was like, you know, uh, Lord, you know, I, what am I going to do? Yeah. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My name is John Hemke, and this is a short overview of my testimony of me running from God and the grace and the mercy that he extended on me. I was born in a town of Berkeley, Michigan. I was pretty much basically a very happy uh, young boy. I came from a large family. I had eight sisters and there were three boys. Most of my sisters were older, so it was like having a lot of mothers in my life. I was confirmed in a Lutheran church. I remember looking at those doors and saying, I got control of my whole life. At the age of 16, I was in my junior year of high school. I, I got caught up with a group of guys that uh, turned me on to drugs and alcohol. I can remember at the age of 18, we were in the basement of our house and we had all been playing cards that night. And I looked at my sisters and I said to them, look, if you think you're going to tell me how to run my life, you got another thing coming, okay? And you will never ever see me again if you think you're going to take control of my life. I've got it under control. Well, by that time, I had already been involved in the drinking and in the drugs, and I was running hard from God. I knew exactly who Jesus was. I can remember the, the times that I was the most high in my life, praying to Jesus, Lord, just bring me down one more time, and I will never, ever do this again. And, I mean, of course, I just, you know, did Jesus know I was lying through my teeth? Of course he did, because the next day I'd be right back at it again. I knew who Jesus was. I knew he was real. I, I knew that God was who I needed to be with, but I was just so caught up in my addiction that I had no way out. At the age of 38, I was approached by my wife. I had three sons at that time, Luke, Ethan, and Nick, and she said I had an option, that it was, only, it was either going to be the family or the alcohol. Well, I took that very serious and uh, started attending AA, drinking when I went to the meetings, still drinking every night. It just wasn't cutting it for me. At that time, I was on my way to work one morning and I cried out to the Lord. And this is exactly what I said to him, Jesus, I want to stop drinking because I want my family. And if you want me to stop, you're going to have to do it because I can't do it. Well, soon after that, I can't tell you what the timeline was, I pulled into a gas station instead of buying a fifth of liquor and bought a cup of coffee and I never drank again. But on top of that, the cocaine usage increased. I had my last son, which was Bryce, I was 41 years old. The dilemma in my family is my wife and I, we were having serious marital problems, serious marital problems. I didn't care about my kids because when you're addicted, you don't care about anything about getting that except getting that high. At the time of my addiction, I really wasn't looking for God at all. But I do remember this. I do remember thinking to myself all the time, how am I ever going to get out of this? What am I going to do? You know, I'm addicted. Am I going to be doing cocaine at 70 years old? Am my kids just a mess? Am my life a mess? Being a Christian today, God revealed to me that was my cry to Him. And it took me a long time to really realize that. It wasn't like, okay, I need Jesus, I gotta find him, what do I need to do? It was more or less my cry to say, what am I doing? How do I get back? How do I, how do I get out of this? One night, I was sitting in church on a Wednesday night. It was a Lutheran church. I attended that church for 17 years. I was an usher there. I thought I, you know, I thought I was walking with the Lord and here I am doing more cocaine than ever. 
I had picked my son Lucas up from confirmation, took him back to his mother's house, and I was going to go home and just go to bed because I had been horrendously high that day. I had a bad day in my business, and I just wanted to go home. Of course, at that time, I didn't know, but the Holy Spirit just totally convicted me and drove me back to church that night. I remember uh, just looking up in front of the church, wondering who was it that was talking to me. And that was actually the night that I went home and surrendered my life to Christ because I knew he had called me that night and said, John, you need to go home and you need to open up the door of your heart and you need to let me in. So that was uh, 13 years ago. It was just two weeks before Easter. So where is this all leading to? Well, let me put it to you plain and simple. I never knew how much I could love Jesus as I love him today. I, he's shown me a whole new way of life. I've seen him use me in incredible ways. I've seen him reveal to me how much he totally carried me through all those years because I can remember again so many times going to bed and praying to the Lord, please bring me down, Jesus. I promise you, I will not do this again. But he carried me all the way through, all the way through up until this day. 